Hello everybody, welcome back to The Witcher. Alright, we're going to continue on with Payback. Hello people, don't attack me. Uh, do we need to... Do we need to meditate at all? Can we meditate? Let's just... Just make sure everything is filled up. Where are we supposed to be going here? Where'd you go? Siri? Where are you? There she is. What are we looking for, Siri? I killed him. Oh. Okay, got me to Why do I keep getting my torch out by accident? How long have you been playing this game for now? Well, well. Who do we have here? Finally found your little ward. Took your sweet fucking time. Seems in fine health to me. Ah, because you thought you killed me that time. Surprise the fucking prize. Shut your trap, witch! Before somebody fills that hole for you. Enough! I'll finish what you started. Whoa, whoa, stop, it's me, Dudu, Dudu Bieberfeld. You really didn't recognize me? Dudu? Prove it. Wait, Siri. After the heist, after Dijkstra's vault was emptied, you vanished. How'd I find you? Quick. Butcher's yard, the mama's play, Priscilla's. You dragged me onto the stage. Sheath your sword, Siri. It's due. Mm. God! You give me quite the scare. Not wise to play games with a witcher. Horson Jr.? Was there no one else you could impersonate? Once we'd fled, I would no idea what to do. I could only hide for so long. They'd find me sooner or later. <clears throat> it wasn't our decision. We knew he was dead, but not many others had caught on. That was my chance. No one mourned for Horson Jr. In all his miserable life, he'd never helped a soul. Amusingly, once dead, he became a useful member of society. They say everyone deserves a second chance. Seems true enough. Horson got his, in a way, sharing it with a Doppler named Doodoo. Doodoo. It's a funny name. That was courageous, Doodoo. I'd never expect it from you. Neither would I. Oh, by the way, you've no idea at the relief I feel you're alive and well. And I'm relieved I didn't slit your throat. How's business? Chose an interesting line of business. Dudu's always had a head for numbers. What's a few brothels and casinos? He'll manage. That's the thing. I don't need to. Two weeks after Wiley died, I announced I'd seen the light of the eternal fire sold all the illegal enterprises. I'm a blue water trader now. Horson's men didn't protest? I've contacts in the guilds. Run a thriving trade. Profits are twice what they were before. To Wiley's men, a purse twice as heavy means twice as much respect for the men and in it to them. Okay. Be careful. You could get found out. Wiley's men are too stupid to catch on. His colleagues ain't much better. Mind you, even you were fooled. Uh, and that might have ended very badly for you. True. I get a bit carried away at times. But mostly I'm careful. Alright, we need to go. Time's up. Right. We must still go by the Golden Sturgeon. It was nice to see you both. And take care of yourselves. You too. So long, Dudu. Why are we the... going to the Sturgeon? To see a girl who has eyes. Who might that be? Friend of Dandelions. Her name's B. She's a waitress at the Golden Sturgeon. Help me contact Dandelion. Let's go then. I will wish to thank her. She risked a lot. Risked a lot? How's that? Ah, the Temple Guard were breathing down my neck. If she'd been seen with me, she might have been flogged or worse. Hmm. Always getting into trouble. I take after you. Oh, let's go, come on, Siri. Right, as I recall, this is Sunday, the 4th of October. But this video should be going up on Wednesday, the 7th. So I visited a city once that was very much like Novigrad, but the people there were much taller and had dark skin. Is this somewhere in Zeracania? No, 
In another world. Hmm. What's it like, hopping between worlds? Anything like passing through a portal? Or different? Hmm, a bit different. It was hard going at first. I wasn't very good at controlling it. So I had to concentrate intensely. And hope I didn't land in the crater of an active volcano. The training I did with Avalok was very helpful. Now, I merely think of the place I wish to travel to. Close my eyes. And it's done. Yeah, so... Stop talking, people. Yeah, so as I was saying, hopefully tomorrow, Thursday the 8th, I will have uh, some Star Wars Battlefront uh, video gameplay up on the channel. I'm not sure if there'll be any commentary. Uh, there'll definitely be some gameplay up on Friday the 9th. Again, as I say, I'm not sure if there'll be any live commentary on it. It all depends what time they actually release the beta. Uh, but I'm really looking forward to it. Hopefully you guys are too. Come on, Syria. Let's run. So I do plan to do that live commentary on the Star Wars Battlefront, but uh, but not in every single video. I want to record as many videos as I can. Can we loot this bloody bag, please? Thank you. Come on, Siri. Let's go. We're going this way. No, we're going here. In we go. Gave you a chance. You should have taken it. I spit on anything you give me. You'll regret that, you cow. Mind your manners, you're talking to a lady. Stay out of this. This is not your concern. Sure it is. You're a fucking freak too. He is. Very dangerous at that. The butcher of White Orchard. What'd he do there? Trim the trees? Eugen. He slew half the village. Dragged the bodies of the alderman and his wife behind his horse to Novigrad. Let's get out of here. That's pretty good advice your friend's offering. Sorry. Bunch of bloody cowards. Thank you. I seem more determined this time. You shouldn't cross them, I told you. I'm to bar non-humans from this establishment because some thugs threaten me. Not likely. It's so good to see you, B. And you, Siri. Who's your charming companion? <laughs> Geralt of Rivia. That Geralt! <laughs> Very nice to meet you. I've heard so much. Um, uh, what you heard? Come on. Really? What, for example? For example, how you've saved her from woes so many times she's lost count. And how you always know how to make her laugh. That's Siri, of course. Other ladies, however. B, I'm standing right here. <laughs> all right, all right. So, what brings you here, darlings? I wanted to thank you for everything. Oh, stop. Anyone would have done the same in my shoes. Not many would have done it with such courage. Thank you. This is for you. A trinket to remember me by. Oh, my. It's beautiful. Thank you. So, will you stay for stew? And keep slaughtered a piglet this morning. Thanks. But we must still visit Far Corners. Ah, off to see Valdo, eh? Well, shan't stop you then. They'll feed you properly there too, no doubt. Farewell to you both. And do take care of our witcher. I will. So long. Goodbye, B. Uh. Oh, sorry, love. <laughs> Alright, come on, Sylvia, where are we going now? Where the hell is she? Your friend, B. What about her? Nothing. Seems nice. Geralt. So terrible. what I say? What's there to see in far corners? The camp of some travelling circus performers. Non-humans. When I came here before, I wanted to contact Triss. Life was hard. I could have spent nearly everything the Baron gave me. Triss and I never met. Because the temple guard showed up. I was a wanted woman afterwards. Triss didn't try to contact you? How could she? She didn't know anything. In fact, she thought she was to meet another alchemist wanting to flee. 
Mm. <coughs> Where are you scurrying to, Rich? Let's see your pass. Pass? What pass? Kind of pass confirms you ain't no mage. Can't enter or leave Novigrad without it. Um, shit. Sorry, don't have a pass. You'll scurry no further then. Next! Hang on. How do I get one? Start by making an offering to the church. Then you'll need three pure souls to confirm. Let him through. Here's his papers. What? But we Not your concern. Back to your post. Cheers, pal. Regards from Siggy Ruven. Long live Radovid! Hail the mate! Oh, okay, where are we going? Oh, oh Siri, I didn't recognize you there, girl. Off we go. Where the hell are we going? Can't bloody remember. Oh, going the wrong way. Come on, girl. Here. Where's this friend of yours? There, what? Valdo. Talk to Valdo. That's what we're doing. Siri, you devil incarnate, where have you been? Come here, darling. Hello. What's this? Brought your granddad? Agar, <laughs> you're incorrigible. Allow me to introduce. Geralt of Rivia. Ah, greetings. We've heard heaps about you. Mostly lies, I bet. Ah, if it's a lie that since her youngest years you've been her friend and mentor, then indeed. She is a bold-faced liar. Well, good you're here. Come in the nick of time. We'd have been gone by tomorrow. You're leaving? Provided we can find the animals to carry us. Two of our horses dropped on the way. Another two are too weak to haul anything. Ah, we'll manage somehow. We don't leave till tomorrow, so not to worry about today. Yes, for some. I'm off to see a merchant. There's a chance I can trade our nags for a healthy horse. Wouldn't want Valdo to have anything to worry about tomorrow. Hmm. What's eating him? Oh, don't worry. That's just how Agar is. Be back to his jolly old self by evening. What brings you here? I've come to apologize. <clears throat> I disappeared so suddenly, then... Ah, oh, pish posh. What matters is you're back, and you're well. This is for you. All that you loan me, plus a small premium. Siri, you know I can't take this. And you know I shan't let you refuse. I know. We'll make it the pot for a wager. <laughs> Do you still race? Of course. Then I challenge you. Geralt, will you join us? Why not? Gladly. A man after my own spirit. <laughs> Come. Are we racing horses? I'm assuming so, we're not gonna run. Geralt, choose one of these. Coming, coming. Go. Uh okay, we're going through the flags. Giving you a head start. I'm assuming I'm going the right way, yep. Let's follow the road. And to the left, oh, come on Geralt, come on. Get out of my way, you fool. Oh. Keep going, keep going. Out of the way, people. You fools. Faster, you're trailing. Watch where you're going or you'll fall. Out of the way. Oh, shoot. Just want to advise. Ah, that was easy. Slow now. Fuzzy screen. Come on, load up, girl. Come on. There we go. I can still beat you. I let you win. Lovely race. Well, this calls for a celebration. Stay the evening. We've several barrels of Kedwin's best. Sounds good. Fires to be lit soon, round which all will gather. This night shall be ours. Cool party. Better be some food. <coughs> Morning. 
more wine? Thanks. I'm glad we stayed. Me too. They like you here. I like them too. Oh, I'd love to join them. Drink and race, travel from town to town, not worry a whit about anything. Good plan. Good plan. I think I'll go with you. And then our future's settled. If that is, there's more than ash left of us once this is over. Defeating the hunt won't be easy, but with the Lodge's support, Avalax, we can do this. I fear fighting the hunt will only be the beginning. For me, at least. Um... What do you mean? What do you mean? <laughs> you promised! <laughs> In jest? Sometimes I wish I could be like them. Drunk. <laughs> we know what you mean. Free, Me happy. Being a witch is a burden sometimes. This is my inheritance. I'd so like to be ordinary. Problem is, you're not. You were born to greatness. As I've been hearing since I was born. All because of this damned elder blood. My gift. My curse. Hmm. Granted me all of these powers, but it's also why I've spent my life fleeing, hiding. Hmm. Then it's time to end this. Once we defeat Eredin, you'll be free. Really? Eredin's hardly alone. There are others. They have plans for me. It was the sorceresses of the Lodge once. Now it's my father. Even Yennefer. You're forgetting Avalar. Avalar's different. He is intent on my gift not falling into the wrong hands. Not spinning out of control. It's why he teaches me. Protects me. Well, I hope you're right, girl. If you say so. You doubt it? There'll come a day when Avalok will ask you for a favor. <sighs> Perhaps. But if so, it will be a very, very long time from now. And I'm certain whatever it is, he'll give me a choice. I will have the option to refuse. Hope you're right. That's Pablo. I plan to learn how to juggle one day. Incredibly useful skill. <laughs> Finally found you two. Enjoying yourselves. Yep. Bonfires, wine, jugglers. What more could you ask for? I could name a few things I'd trade it for, but it's a life. You seem concerned. Things not go well with the merchant. <laughs> Lost cause. The man refused to trade. I said I'd buy. He asked three arms and a host of legs for one healthy animal. We need horses, but we'll have to find another way to get them. Ho, ho, I sense trouble. I knew you'd warm to the notion. We mean to sneak into the man's stable. With 30 head, a few more or less won't make a difference in his life. Coming with? Of course. <sighs> Not about still. None of this concerns us. This does concern me. These are my friends. They'll manage on their own. Okay, can we buy them for you? I should have picked that, really. If Siri wishes to ride with us, she should. She's not your property. Let her risk her neck for thieves. Hmm. Well, we've got a fight now, have we? Oh, shit. Oh, what the hell happened there? How am I supposed to freaking fight when it's done doing that? And he's a hell of a lot stronger than me as well. Jesus. Oh, why can't I hit him? Hit him. I might help if I have a proper camera and go. How do we block? Come on, come closer. Come on. Come on, beat him. Come on, Red. We, we got this. It's nearly down. 
So am I. Oh, fudge. Well, oh, bollocks. What is this? Have you gone mad? We were to revel, not to punch each other to a pulp. Should have made that clear to your friend. Siri, much as I hate to say it, I think it's time the two of you left. I know. The magic's gone. Sorry. Well, it wasn't our fault, Siri. He attacked us. I can't believe we lost that fight. God damn it. I'm going down to the riverside. I want to take a walk. Be alone for a bit. Sorry for that. You've no need to apologise for acting according to your nature. Ooh. I'll meet you back at Dandy Lines. Catty. Right, guys and girls, I'm going to end the video here now. I'd like to thank you all very much for watching. This is Red Fox, signing out.